everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. Welcome back to the capital of OVE tribe. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for loving yourself, for healing yourself, for doing the work, for taking the time to get to know yourself on a deeper level. Thank you for your likes, comments, subscribing, donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being present. This is healing for you. It's healing for me. Thank you for allowing me to help you on your journey right now. Thank you. I am so grateful, grateful, so overwhelmed with gratitude. My name is Nicole. So today's pick a card we're going to get. This was an idea that came to me from the different realms to do this pick a card about your spiritual team's advice for you for your love life. Now, it does not matter if you are single, dating, or in a relationship, or married, okay? It does not matter where you are within your love life. We're going to be getting advice for everyone, okay? So right now, astrologically speaking, Mercury is going into retrograde, okay? But the retrograde just began, I think it begins tomorrow or today, I can't remember, but this retrograde will be happening, I believe it's September 9th until October 10th, and the retrograde is happening, Mercury is stationing retrograde in the sign of Libra, okay, it's going, it's going to be in the sign of Libra, and then it's going to move back to the sign of Virgo, so Libra, this is talking about, Libra rules the seventh house, the seventh house talks about relationships and partnerships. And also with Mercury, this is the planet of communication. So this is going to be a time where some of us will be communicating with people from the past or wrapping up loose ends with people from the past. Or it could even be not necessarily people from the past, but past life as well. So there's going to be a huge highlight on relationships partnerships and communication within these relationships and partnerships. And again, it could be people from the past or it could be people from past lives, okay? But there's going to be a need to communicate, communicate things to clear karma or finish out lessons or integrate the truth or integrate lessons that have been learned whether this is through separation, whether this is through just, again, um, you are with someone, but taking that time to clear up some things, okay? There's a lot of clearing this energy from Mercury going into retrograde in the sign of Libra. There's clearing happening, clearing, tying up loose ends, and also balancing, because Libra talks about balance, okay? So the skills are being balanced within partnerships or relationships. So right now, some of you may get um, a call from an ex, an ex or a former friend or a family member that you have not talked to in a while, okay? It could be all of the above as well. So with this energy, be open. Okay, because that may be some healing or some karmic balancing that you need to balance at this time. Okay, so we're going to get into it. For pile one, we have the gardener. Okay, pile two, life purpose. And we're going to be getting advice from your spirit team, okay? And that's your ancestors, spirit guides. Um, angels, archangels, whatever wants to come through. And emotional freedom for PAL 3. So timestamps are linked below. If you need to pause the video to choose a pile, you can do so. Trust yourself. If you feel guided to choose more than one pile, trust yourself. It's all on you. Just trust yourself. Thank you, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, Pal One. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I'm so grateful to have you here. 
I hope you are well. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Let's get into it. Okay. So advice from your spirit team for your love life. Okay. With the gardener being here, this is about your spirit team wants you to plant. Okay. For some of you, this is you're planting new seeds, but for some of you, this is now a harvest. Like you're getting ready to see a lot of change and movement in your love life, okay? For some of you, this is going to the next level in a connection. Like if you are dating or if you're dating someone, this is someone committing to you. Or if you are in a relationship, this is moving in together or maybe some type of engagement or marriage. If you are single, this is beginning to date someone new. Or for some of you, date more than one person. Okay, there's an elevation here. And this elevation is happening because of the work you've been doing on yourself. And you've been nurturing yourself and watering your own garden. And now you're ready to work with someone else. For some of you, I am getting some of you are single in this pile. And you've been single for a while. Or, you know, you've been just dating casually. But now you're getting ready to learn some lessons with someone else or collaborate with someone else. Like someone is going to come in and help you grow your garden. If you're in a relationship right now, this person is going to step up and be more serious. They're going to show you, even if you're married, okay, this person is going to show you how they're more serious about you, serious about building, serious about connecting on a deeper level. Now let's get some more information and there's going to be growth. For some of you, it's growth in a family, family changes here, like a baby, there's growth and there's abundance. But let's get some more advice from your spirit team, okay? The emperor. Two of swords. Three of wands. The chariot. Death. The fool. Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Devil, Five of Wands, and Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's some fast moving. Your spirit team needs for you to know that change is coming in and it's coming in quickly. And they want you to know that you're ready. Many of you have been, again, you've been doing the work, okay? Whether you've been healing, you've been working on yourself, you've been working with a partner on communication. Many of you have been working on your, your style of communication, whether you've been just working on communication with yourself or working on communicating better with someone else or all of the above. But your spirit team needs for you to know these changes are coming in and there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to feel like you're not ready for these things that are happening, okay? Some of you, like I said, you've been single or some of you are, you know, newly single after coming out of a breakup. Some of you are in a relationship and things are going to the next level, okay? But your spirit team is saying the changes that are coming in, you are ready, OK, you are ready for these changes. You've been doing the work. You've been watering your own garden. You've been learning. You've been growing. You've been planting the seeds. OK, now it's time for you to collaborate. Now it's time for you to plant seeds with someone else or you and another person. Water the garden together. OK, you and another person see more abundance together. For some of you, I'm definitely getting like you went through a breakup it was painful. You had to take the time to learn, heal, and transform. Many of you have been transforming a lot. Like you've transformed from ego issues, from addictions, from conflict, from drama. Okay. You were able to see yourself on a clear, from a clear perspective. Some of you were blaming other people for your issues. And now you are able to take accountability for your own issues. You're able to see like your spirit team is coming through saying they're proud of you. They're proud of you for being able to see that, um, take accountability for things and see things from a different perspective. Okay. 
the advice from your spiritual team for your love life is to have fun. Okay. What I'm seeing here is like, some of you don't see this new beginning coming. Some of you don't see this new start coming. Some of you just don't see these changes. You may be aware that something is changing, but you don't see exactly how these changes are happening. And your spirit team wants to surprise you and they want to bring in new energy to bring you to a place of fun. Many of you have been going through a lot. You know, you've been healing, but it was a lot that was on you, a lot of burdens, a lot of pain, a lot of different situations. And now your spirit team is saying in this new chapter, they want you to have more fun. They want you to have more fun. They want you to be more laid back. They want you to go with the flow more. They want you to trust yourself. They want you to see that you are the magician. You are the alchemist. You are like you can trust yourself. You are more equipped and have so much strength to move forward and to be successful. Some of you may be still dealing with some fear. Like you're not sure if you're ready. You're not sure if you're ready to love again. You're not sure if you're ready to be in a commitment. You're not sure if you're ready to take your relationship to the next level. Or even if you are married, maybe you're not sure about what this new chapter looks like for you and your person. But whatever it is, your spiritual team is saying you are ready. Give yourself more credit. Give yourself more of a pat on the back, like be proud of yourself because you've done a lot of work. And whatever this change is, for many of you, it's more than one change, okay? But these changes that are coming in are big, but you're ready. You have the resources, you have the support, you are fully supported by your team, and they want you to have fun, they want you to enjoy this, and they want you to go with the flow. And they want you to remember that fear and anxiety, like what you went through, you're not going to go through that again. Some of you are in a relationship and there's been ups and downs with your person. If that's the case, your spiritual team is saying this new chapter with you and this person, okay, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be what it used to be. It's not going to be where, you know, there was a lot of arguments, a lot of fighting, a lot of issues. Like whatever this change is, it's very positive. And it's because of the work you've been doing. And not only that, that vibration is either aligning you with someone new or if you're with the person that you've been with, there's a shift in the energy. You and this person are both different, and this person has been doing the work as well. But whatever this is, you're ready. Like, you've been doing the work. You're ready for this transformation, and it's going to be more fun, more abundance, more healing. Like, many of you are going to be collaborating with someone and, like, building with this person and traveling. I see a lot of traveling here, okay? Um, movement. Some of you have been in a stuck, stale energy within your love life. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it just felt stuck, okay? That's not going to be the case anymore. And your spiritual team wants you to know that, that things are moving. Not only are they moving, but they're moving in a positive direction. And you have the resources and the support to succeed. You just have to remember that it won't be like it was before. Like, don't get in your head about this. Don't get in your head about this new start, the new journey, feeling like you're afraid or feeling like you don't know what is how it's going to be or feeling like the water is going to be rocky or it's going to be tough or how is this person going to be? Let those ideas go. Let those thoughts go. Like, you're ready. You're ready for the next step. You're ready to love again, or you're ready to reconcile with your person, or you're ready to have a new person. Whatever it is, you're ready. Okay, let's get some more. It's a vibe. New chapter. Love language. Love at first sight. Have faith. Okay. This is pal, pal one. Okay, so what is your... Advice from your spiritual team. Again, they want you to have fun. That many of you have been working really hard, hard on yourself, hard on you know your abundance, your career. You know you've just been working very diff, like very. I wanted to say difficult, <coughs> but it's not difficult. Like you've been very diligent. Okay, you've been very focused. They want you to have faith. They want you to have faith in your new chapter. They want you to believe that. What you went through, because many of you have gone through a lot of painful situations, they want you to know that, the, that those times are over. 
Again, it doesn't mean that you're not still going to be learning lessons, but they want you to know that you've cleared a lot of karma and the things that you went through through previously, it's not going to be like that. Like you're on a higher frequency. You've healed a lot of those wounds. This is a new chapter. Have faith in this new chapter. Have faith. This says here, a fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. There's a new chapter here. Okay. And for many of you, this is filled with a lot of abundance. Okay, it's like a lot of abundance is here with this gardener energy. This is like a lot of the seeds you've been planting. Things are blooming and blossoming. Okay, so have faith in this. For some of you with this love at first sight, either you're meeting someone new and it's going to feel like love at first sight. Or if you are already with someone and reconciling with someone or with someone that you've been with for a while, it's going to feel renewed. It's going to feel like you're falling in love again. It's going to feel like, you know, this person is taking your breath away. Like this is your first time seeing this person again. It's just going to be a fresh, new, renewed energy. And again, this new chapter is a vibe. Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. Your spiritual team wants you to know you're going to be having fun. Many of you, again, it's like it's been a lot going on. You haven't really been having fun or dating life wasn't the best or you were just going through a lot. This is not going to be the case. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a vibe. The love languages, you and this person will be able to meet each other emotionally, mentally, physically. Communication will be stronger because, again, you have the tools. You've done the work. And this is why your spiritual team is like, have faith, have faith, not only in yourself, but have faith in your love life. Like, because you've done this work, you are aligning with better situations, higher vibrational situations. Again, regardless if you're single dating or in a relationship, it's just going to be fresh. It's going to be better. It's going to be a new chapter. So have faith in this. Okay, let's find out some more. This is really beautiful. They just don't want you to get stuck in your head about it, okay? Connection. Inner peace. Chivalry. Now, this is going to be... I'm sorry, I meant to tell you this. These cards are going to be what does your spiritual team want you to... Like, basically, what do they want you to embrace moving forward, okay? The energies that they want you to embrace. So we have here connection, chivalry, soulmates, and inner peace. Let's start with the inner peace. Because of the work you've been doing, working on yourself, okay? You have cultivated that level of peace. You have been loving yourself. You have been showing yourself, you know, that you are enough. You've been loving yourself, healing yourself, bringing yourself to a higher elevation, a higher frequency, and also reaffirming that you are enough. Again, what you went through in the past, your spiritual team needs for you to know that that is not going to be how it is moving forward, okay? You have cultivated this level of inner peace, harmony, and joy within. You know how to love yourself. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to nurture yourself. So you are enough and you will be attracting better situations, better partners, or if you are in a relationship, better partnership and loving situations within your partnership, okay? With this connection and soulmates here, this is, again, you're going to be connecting very deeply with someone on a deep level of the soul. And if you are in a relationship, it's going to be a renewal. It's going to be like the spark has, you know, it's, it's lit again. It's going to feel like you're in love with this person all over again. You're falling in love with this person. There's a deepening connection that's happening here. Music seems to be very prominent as well. Music is sticking out. They want you to know that and they want you to embrace that and nurture that. Nurture the soul connection with this person. Because again, many of you, if you're single or dating, you're getting ready to connect with someone. Okay. And this person is definitely a soulmate. 
It could even be a divine counterpart, okay? Whatever you subscribe to. But this is going to be a deep spiritual connection. And this connection is going to be like something you've never experienced before. Because again, you've been healing and you've been doing the work. So they want you to embrace that and be open to this and not feel like it's going to be like what you dealt with in the past. Not feel like this person is just not going to understand you or it's just only going to be good for a little bit and then it's going to go bad or, you know, you have a month of things going well and you're thinking in your head, well, when is it going to go down? When are things going to be um, destroyed? You know, like a self-sabotaging energy, okay? Your spiritual team wants you to let that go because they're saying you deserve this because you are enough. And you're worthy of this. And you're worthy of a deep connection. You're worthy of a soulmate, okay? They want you to have a chivalrous nature, okay? And something about chivalry and something about romance. Like, it doesn't matter your gender here or your, you know, your energy. Even if you're a feminine or masculine, again, it does not matter. They want you to be chivalrous with your person. They want you to be romantic. They want you to have a healthy balance of give and take, okay? Giving and receiving, giving and taking here. And they just want this to be a balance. With this, I keep saying, they want you to embrace balance within a connection. Balancing out, taking time for yourself, and you know your self-care and your emotional needs, but also balancing out your person's needs and meeting in the middle. And again, they're saying, you're ready for this. Like some of you, you may feel like, wow, I don't know, that sounds scary. Your spiritual team is like, no, you're ready for this. Like you have done the work. You're ready to have a healthy connection like this. So they want you to have a lot of romance, they want you to have a lot of fun. They want you to deeply connect with someone emotionally, mentally, physically. And they also want you to travel. Travel seems to be sticking out here. And again, having that time for yourself and having that time for your connection, okay? Having that balance. Now, let's get some more messages. Mm -hmm. I'm really positive. Let's just get a couple mm -hmm. messages here. What is your spiritual team? What is their advice for you, for your love life, okay? For your love life. For power one. Power one. Okay. All right. You have your secret relationship. So some of you. It's a random noise. <laughs> Some of you, okay, they're saying, you know, you may keep your relationship private or keep things about your relationship private. Whether you want it to be a secret or not, that's on you, okay? But for me, this is saying keep things within your relationship private. You don't have to keep everything private, but you will know. Blessings and surprises. So yes, again, there's a lot of blessings that's coming in for you within this new chapter. And these are rewards that you have earned. And your spirit team wants you to wants you to know that these are going to be very surprising to you and surprising how it all unfolds. But they're saying you deserve this and you have earned this. Last time we made love. Making love is going to be very important for you, okay? Your spirit team needs you to know that. That's sexual healing. Sexual healing is going to be very important for you in this new chapter. You're going to feel safe with this new person or with the person that you are with. You're going to feel more safe, more open, and you're going to heal sexually. You and that person. Sexual healing is very prominent here. Let go of the past. So, again... Thinking about like, oh, when I was in that relationship, this happened or, oh, it's good until it's not and things like that. Let go of that. That's not going to happen in this new chapter. It's going to be so different. You're going to be so surprised at how healthy this is, how stable this is. Gratitude for the past. So they want you to have gratitude for everything you went through and for you to have that understanding that because you went through these things, you learned so much and you gained the resources and the knowledge and the skills, and now you're going to be successful. You're going to have more successful relationships moving forward. Toxic behavior, low vibes. This is, again, I feel for many of you, this is the past. You know, there was a lot of toxicity in your relationships. There was a lot of things going on, and it was low vibrational, okay? But your frequency is higher now. You are higher vibe. You're not going to have the same issues. You're not going to have the same drama. So again, 
if you're feeling anxious or fearful, fearful about that, they want you to let that go, okay? Aquarius energy. So this is, again, I feel like for some of you, this is also telling me that you have like new friendships coming in as well, okay? But I'm also getting with this teamwork, this is building with someone else. You're going to be building with someone else, like building a life. It could even be building a business. For some of you, you may be in a business with this person. Unstable behavior, again. So I feel like that's, again, that past. And you're coming into stability. You're coming, whether you've been with this person or not, this is going to be a stable new beginning. Stable and healthy, okay? So that unstable behavior and toxic behavior and low vibrational situations, those that's the past. So just it's time to let it go. More rest, please. Your body needs this. So right now, again, you're transforming. A lot of this transformation is happening. You need more rest. Rest and replenish your body because you're going through a huge upgrade and a lot of transformation. Will you visit me in the dream space? Some of you could be connecting with someone in the dream space. And again, you may not know who this person is yet. And then this is a part of the surprise. You're going to be meeting with someone. But some of you... That's for people who are single or dating. If you're in a relationship, you and this person are connecting in the other realms to build this new beginning, okay? So this is why this rest is important because there are things happening in the other dimensions and other realms that you cannot see that you're not aware of, but it's happening when you sleep. So rest is very important. You're coming out of the darkness into the light, okay? And that's what your spiritual team needs for you to know. In the past, that low vibrational stuff, it was a lot of darkness there. With this new chapter, new situations, this is light. This is love. Again, does not mean that every day is going to be perfect. Not saying that. You still have lessons to learn. But it's not all that low vibrational BS attached to it, okay? You are my light. It's a lot of light here. The person that you're going to be with, they're going to feel like you are their light, okay? And you are going to see that person as they are your light as well. And dedicated to you, you are my best friend. You know, the person that you're with or going to be with, they feel like you're the, they are very good. They are very, can't even talk. Wow. For some of you, this person will be tongue tied, okay? Or you leave them speechless. This person is devoted to you. And they look at you as a best friend. And so this is why I was saying there's going to be a deep connection here. It's going to be very deep very fulfilling and for many of you it's growing like this is what i was like with this gardener it's like it's going to continue to grow in the past it may have felt like you and this person didn't really grow or you were not growing in your relationships it's not going to be like that anymore your spiritual team needs for you to know that that's why they're saying let go of the past because there's a lot of growth here there's a lot of abundance and you're going to grow with someone and build with someone. And it's going to be beautiful. Okay, let's get your healing messages out. That was so beautiful. Okay, pile, this is pile one. Healing messages, okay. Surrender to rest and sleep. Surrender to setting limits. Surrender negative thinking. Surrender the idea you can fix someone, okay. All right, pile one. So we have rest and sleep twice. So remember to get your rest. Try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep at night. And if your body is telling you during the day you need to sit down, you need to rest, you need to take a nap, try to get the rest when you can. Many of you are going through a big transformation. Because many of you are coming into a new place, a new vibration, a new way of being. So when you rest your physical body, this energy is integrating. This energy is integrating so your physical reality can shift. Okay? So it's very important for you to get your rest. And as I told you in those other cards, you know, you and a person, whether you're with this person or not, you guys are connecting in the other realms, creating. That energy is creating. So you need the rest because it's penetrating, it's integrating down on this end so your physical reality can shift. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships, practice expressing your needs, and remember that no is a complete sentence. So again, boundaries are important. And remember, in this new chapter with your person, okay, 
you have to express your boundaries and you have to express your needs, okay? And this person is going to respect you and your needs and your boundaries. And not only are they going to respect you, they're going to help you, um, like basically they're going to help you reaffirm the importance of your boundaries. They may even remind you, hey, you know, don't you think you should, or like, I think you should get this rest, or I think you should do this. Like, they're going to be reaffirming your own boundaries, okay? So remember, boundaries are important and expressing your needs are important. Surrender the idea you could fix someone. It is time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing or for their own healing, okay? So remember, if you are healing and you are doing the work, you focus on you. You cannot fix someone. You cannot heal someone. This person or people, they have to be accountable for their own energy. You are accountable for your own energy. You focus on you. If they heal, they heal. If they don't, they don't. The energies will align the way it's supposed to. But you can't force someone to heal. You can't make some, you can't fix someone. They have to be accountable for their own healing. Okay. And finally, surrender negative thinking. So this is what I was saying before, how your spiritual team is pointing out to you that there's still some negative programming and negative thoughts within your subconscious that could be creating fear and anxiety around this new chapter in love. You can control, you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So positively affirm yourself. Affirm yourself that you are ready for love and you are ready, ready to receive love and you're ready for a new chapter. And this new chapter is healthy. This new chapter is stable. This new chapter is abundant. And, you know, those low frequencies and toxicity, all of that, that's over with. You know, just keep reaffirming that to yourself. And the more you do it, you're programming your mind now. You're programming the new healthy thoughts in and the fear and anxiety will melt away. So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on your new chapter. You are ready for this. You got this. You are equipped. I'm proud of you. Keep doing the work. Keep having your boundaries. Keep expressing your needs. Get your rest. Heal yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself. I'll see you next time. Hi, Pal 2. Welcome, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE tribe. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself. For loving yourself and doing the work. Let's get into this. So let's get, we're talking about for this pick a card, your spirit team's advice for your love life. So life purpose. Your spirit team needs for you to know many of you are really getting in alignment with your life purpose, with your destiny. And this is really shifting a lot of things in your world where, you know, you thought your life was moving in one direction, you're now seeing that your life is moving in a completely opposite direction. Maybe you're not attracted to the person you were with, or you're not, you're no longer attracting, or you're no longer attracted to the same type of individuals you would typically attract. There's a big shift here. There's a big change. And it's because your frequency is rising. Your vibration is rising. You're aligning with your higher self. You're aligning with your destiny. You're aligning with your purpose. And this is shifting a lot of the things in your world right now, because a lot of those things are not in alignment with your purpose and your destiny. Okay. Some of you may have been in a relationship with someone that no longer aligns with your destiny. And this has not been easy to integrate this truth, but this is now becoming more clear and apparent to what's happening, okay? So your spiritual team needs for you to know right now that many of you, these shifts and this transformation that you're going through is because you're aligning with your higher self and your purpose and your destiny. And so things are changing. And what you had planned or what you thought the plan was or what you thought it would be is not necessarily the same as it was before because you're aligning with your purpose now. And that does not mean that love is not a part of your purpose. That does not mean that at all. In fact, that's quite the opposite. What that is meaning is you're aligning to a higher vibrational connection, 
higher vibrational people, higher vibrational situations that are more in alignment with you, where you are going and your purpose. Okay, let's get some more out here. Seven of Pentacles. The Magician. Six of Cups. Everything is fine. So this is like the Ten of uh, Ten of Swords. Justice. Four of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you guys have been carrying the load, okay? Um, Let's get the rest out. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. And the Devil. Okay. Your spiritual team needs for you to know advice from your spirit team. They need for you to know that everything is fine. Even though things may seem like it's crumbling, things are falling apart, things are actually more than fine. Things are actually coming together. You just cannot see that right now. Again, some of you, I'm getting this in. I'm getting this energy. You've been in a long-term connection, okay? Whether you're married or you've just been in a long-term connection. Some of you are single and dating. We're going to get to that too. But there's there's just this energy of what used to be is no longer. You know, who you used to be attracted to, you're not really into that person anymore. And it's because vibrationally, you're not on the same wavelength. You are moving beyond. You're moving to a higher vibrational frequency. This person, I'm not saying that they're on a low frequency, but they're not on the same frequency level as you are. And so, therefore, the attraction will not be there like it used to be. This is not to say that you won't still feel that this person is good looking or you still won't feel that this person is a good person. You know, like you still won't. What am I trying to say? Like, basically, like, it doesn't mean that you still won't feel like this person is, you know, beautiful or handsome or like you feel like this person is a bad person. Not at all. Like, it's just you're not attracted to that person anymore in that way because you've outgrown this person. Many of you are in a relationship where you've outgrown this person and this person is codependent on you codependent on you, your energy, your time, um, could be what you provide, okay? Whether this is money, this is energy, this is time, this is sex, whatever it is, they're codependent on you. And your spiritual team wants you to know that they're breaking these things down so you could really align with your true self. It may seem like things are out of control. It may seem like things are, you know, not the way you would want it and not the way you envisioned it. And that's precisely the point. The point is to break all of these things down to no longer serve you, to push you into alignment, to push you to be aligned with your purpose, aligned with your higher self, aligned with your destiny in full alignment. Some of you, I feel you go in and out of alignment or like, you know, you're doing things in your destiny, but as far as like your career, right? You may be aligned with your destiny career-wise, but the other parts of your life is not in alignment. Your love life is not in alignment and so on, other situations. So it's like your spirit team is working things, moving things, putting you through things to get you in that place, to get you in a place of full alignment because they don't want you to feel heartbreak anymore. They don't want you to feel sadness anymore. They want you to feel good. They want you to feel abundant. They want you to feel independent, not involved in addictions or not involved in codependent situations or not involved in situations that no longer serve you. They want you to be connected with genuine people, genuine people that love you for you, where you could feel safe and you don't have to hide who you are and you don't have to feel like um, you won't be accepted or you won't, you can't really be who you want to be. They want to balance the scales for you. This is what your spiritual team needs for you to know. And it's like for some of you, this may be painful because some of you may have to walk away from a marriage. Some of you may have to walk away from a long-term commitment. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do at all. But what I'm saying is your spiritual team is coming through saying, 
you may have to do that because for some of you, the person you are with, they're not growing like you are. And your spiritual team is saying, if it continues at this pace, you're not going to want to be in that situation because you're going to be really aligning with who you really are. And you're going to feel strong and independent and like you don't have to, like basically you can move forward on your own. Okay. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you go end your marriage, go break up. I'm not saying that at all. That's not even what your spiritual team is coming through saying, but they're saying that your frequency is changing. It's changing and it's changing rapidly. And the people in your life will be changing unless they evolve with you. Otherwise, you're going to still be carrying burdens when you don't have to. Your spiritual team is saying that like many of you are in pain and suffering. And whether you realize this or not, it's painful for your spiritual team to watch when the, your spiritual team is coming through saying you don't have to because you're the magician. You can create your own destiny. You co-create your own destiny. You have the tools. You have the resources. You have your own level of abundance. Okay, some of you, your abundance has suffered since you've been with a certain person. Your money has suffered. You, you know, you like monetarily, your money has suffered since you've been aligned with a certain person, and your spirit team wants to come through and balance the scales. Okay, they want to heal the heartbreak and they want to balance the scales and they want you to see yourself as abundant, as you know, independent in your own energy. This is not to say that you won't. When I say independent, that doesn't mean that you're not in a relationship. Independent in your own energy, meaning you're accountable for your own energy and you're not codependent on anyone or anything or any situation to help lift you up and to help you to feel loved and good about yourself and protected, that you feel this all within you. And you can have this and be in a connection, but your spiritual team is saying, is this person doing the same work that you're doing? Are they growing with you? Because for many of you, you're not growing with this person. Okay, let's get some more out. Family and friends. Vivid dreams. Make a move. Control issues. And playfulness. Okay. Your spiritual team. Your spiritual team wants you to know that you have support from family and friends. Some of you are thinking about leaving someone, okay? And that's just coming through very evidently through this pile, okay? Some of you are thinking about going in on your own or leaving someone and, you know, you're afraid of judgment or you're afraid of what are people going to say, what are people going to think. Your spiritual team is saying you have support of family and friends. Family and friends can support you. Now, that's for someone that's thinking about leaving and moving on. For some of you who are in a connection and it's been difficult and it's been tough, your spiritual team is saying you have family, you have support from family and friends. Call in family and friends to help support you and this person. Maybe family and friends can help um, this person see that they need to grow, see that they need to um, make some changes. So for some of you, I'm hearing this person needs to mature, that this person is very immature and they need to mature. So your spiritual team is saying you have support from family and friends, okay? Whether you realize this or not, you do. And family and friends can help you right now. They want you to let go of control issues. By controlling, excuse me, by trying to control the situation, you'll only slow down your answer prayers. Let the divine take the lead. Right now, they want you to let go of control. They want you to surrender control. Many of you have been praying for a new start, a new beginning, or a new person, or healing within your connection. They want you to let go. They want you to, if you have prayed about it, pray and then let it go. That means you don't overthink it. You don't try to control it. None of that. If you haven't prayed about it, pray or write down whatever help you need or whatever, however your method is and then let it go. Let the higher power take the lead or the universe, whatever you resonate with. Right now is a time for you to be playful, okay? It's a time for you to be playful in your relationship or even if you're dating, be playful. Have a little fun. 
recapturing romance with your partner. Some of you are in a relationship. So they want you to be playful with this person. They want you to keep things on the light side. They want you to joke, things like that. Some of you, and this is for the people that want to give things more of a shot, more of a chance, okay? For if you are thinking about moving on, they want you to, again, to because things are difficult right now, they want you to incorporate more playful energy right now, okay? Right now, your dreams are very important. Many of you are having vivid dreams. And for some of you, it's about moving forward into your new chapter. And this is, again, about your life purpose. Some of you are getting dreams about, like, you know, you're seeing future timelines. You're seeing yourself in another dimension. You're seeing yourself in the future. And you're waking up and like, whoa, like, what just happened? And this is your spiritual team trying to show you, like, if you are thinking about moving on, if you're thinking about starting a new chapter, that, like, yeah, this new chapter, this is what they're trying to, you know, show you that there's opportunity here. There's opportunity because you're growing, you're learning, and you're aligning with who you really are. And don't just think that there's only one person. Don't just think that, you know, you can never have someone again or circumstances in your life are like, oh, you know, I have kids. Who's going to want someone with kids? Like, don't think like that because that's not true. And then make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make a move. So some of you could be, I'm not getting too many people are dating in this pile, but if you're, if you are dating, someone could be about to make a move on you. But what I'm also getting is make a move about the path that you're moving toward. Are you moving toward this path of working with this person that you're with and, you know, giving it time to see if this person is going to grow or are you going to move forward on a path of you're working and healing yourself and seeing how things, you know, align. Some of you have just feel like your spiritual team is saying like, what is it that you really want? Do you really want to be with this person or do you want to move on? Like getting clear on making a move about what it is you want, because through this process, we co-create. Okay. And if you want this person to grow with you, that's something that you need to ask and pray for, or that's something that you need to have, have an intention around that. Okay. Set some type of intention around that. But if you want to move forward and, you know, you want a new love or you want a new path, then, you know, set the intentions around that. Okay. Just get kind of clear on your spiritual team wants you to get more clear on what it is you really want. Some of you want to stay with the person that you're with and your spiritual team is saying, that's fine, but is that really what you want and get clear on it? And if that's what you want, then you will want this person to grow with you, but don't you make this choice out of fear. Don't make this choice out of anxiety. Okay. Well, let's get some more. Let's find out some more here. What does your spiritual team want you to know? Um, these cards are going to be what does your spiritual team want you to embrace moving forward? Bring more of this energy into your life, okay? Or, you know, balance this energy. Distorted masculine. Spiritual maturity. The sacred woman. Forgiveness. Okay, so your spirit team wants you to embrace more forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and forgiving, you know, the people that have hurt you in the past. Forgiveness is going to be big for you. They want you to embrace more of the energy of forgiveness, okay? Because this is going to help you to grow and to spiritually grow, mentally grow, and physically. Again, many of you are, again, aligning with your purpose. And part of your purpose is forgiveness. And part of your purpose is forgiveness. And so... Your spiritual team wants you to embrace spiritual maturity, embrace the actions of taking accountability, embrace the energy of, again, accountability and being independent in your own energy. Again, that does not mean you can't be with another person, be in a connection. You can be in a connection and be independent in your own energy. That creates more of a healthy connection, more stability and more balance, but as you move through this journey, because many of you are maturing and you're growing right now, because you're aligning more with yourself, 
you are in this place now where the ego and pride issues have to be put to the side, okay? Really work on that because you are really being grown spiritually. And with you growing spiritually, that's also your emotional intelligence is growing as well. And you are maturing emotionally, okay? They want you to release distorted masculine energy. Now, within us, we all have feminine energy and masculine energy, regardless of your gender here. So if you're holding on to the distorted masculine energy, being obsessed with control, being obsessed with time, being obsessed with controlling how things go, controlling how a relationship goes, obsessed with money or obsessed with the material world, let go of those things because they no longer serve you. And this is, you're going to see more of that on this path of spiritual growth and spiritual maturity. You're going to see that time is an illusion. Things happen in divine timing. Things happen when they're supposed to. That there's no need to be obsessed with material goods and material world. It does not mean that you don't value material things, but not obsessed with it or feeling like you need that in order to prove yourself and to prove your worth, okay? Having a sense of worth and self outside of material things, okay? And also not trying to control the situation or not trying to control a partner, okay? Again, if a person is growing, if they want to grow, they're going to choose to grow. You cannot control that. You cannot make someone do anything. You know, that is that person's choice. With the sacred woman here, this is telling me that many of you, you know, again, regardless of gender, you are becoming more sacred and more whole. And your spiritual team wants you to embrace that. Like the more you grow, spiritually grow, you forgive, you, you know, you align with your life purpose, you're becoming more sacred, you're becoming more genuine, more whole, more again mature. There's a maturity happening here for this pile. And it's a big level up and upgrading your maturity. And you're going to see things from a different perspective. So they want you to embrace your sacred nature, embrace loving yourself, embrace nurturing yourself, embrace being kind to yourself, embrace being good to yourself, okay? And don't blame yourself. Like say, for example, if you've been in a long-term connection and you want to end it, don't blame yourself for those things. Don't blame yourself for choosing, you know, a different path. Don't blame yourself for wanting more or wanting to have something different or wanting to move in a different direction. You know, that's, they don't want you to have that type of mindset. Okay. Let's get a few more messages here before we wrap it up. What does your spiritual team need for you to know about your love life? Okay. Pow, pow two. What does your spiritual team need for you to know about your love life? Advice? What do they need for you to know? Pow two. Two, what does your spiritual team need you to know? All right, that's enough. Okay. Okay, spiritual world karma. So this is always, this is talking about, again, with that spiritual maturity, you're clearing your spiritual world karma. That means you have karma from past lives, okay? And you're clearing that. It, you could even be with someone right now where there was karma to clear with this person, okay? But your spiritual team is helping you clear this karma. You are a dream come true. Your spiritual team wants you to know that you are a dream come true, okay? You are special. You are gifted. You are amazing, okay? And you are necessary, more confidence, less ego. This is, again, that distorted masculine energy. Letting go of that pride and ego and becoming more confident in your divine confidence, in your purity, in your divinity, okay? Letting go of that ego energy. Okay, right now is a time of karma clearing. Karma is coming up again. So many of you are clearing a lot of karma and your spiritual team is telling you that they're helping you with this. They're helping you learn your lessons. They're helping you you know, have an understanding of the things that you're going through. They're helping you balance the scales, okay? You have a lot of support, whether you realize this or not. 
Can we find a way to stop fighting? So some of you are fighting with a partner right now. And you know, this person does not want to fight with you. Okay. And your spiritual team wants you to, again, to forgive yourself and forgive this person. Okay. Don't be defensive. Don't be angry. Forgive yourself and forgive this person. It does not mean that you forget. It does not mean that you just, you know, allow someone to take over and things like that. But no, forgiveness, inspire, inspire me. So your spiritual team wants for you to know that you need to feel inspired by someone that you are with. Okay. That's important for you to feel inspired in a relationship and inspired from the person that you are with. Not to say that this person is your muse or not, that's for you to know, but you just need to feel that inspiration. So 999, again, maturity. A lot of you are growing right now. You're learning how to become more spiritually aware and spiritually mature, and you're getting the wisdom and you're being pushed into alignment. It's not easy, but you have to trust and you're learning your worth, okay? So right now, you're going through a lot of growing pains, and your spiritual team needs you to know this. Okay, big dick energy. So again, that's more of that ego, the pride and ego issues. And so your spiritual team is coming through a few times, making you aware of this. So really be aware of your behavior, and are you acting from a place of pride and ego, or are you acting from a place of love? Are you acting from a place of you know, trying to have peace, trying to have harmony. Really be mindful of this. Balance masculine energy. Again, this is that ego. This is that pride. This is that, you know, balancing it so it can be coming, it can come from a divine place, a place of love and not a place of control, not a place of anger, not a place of defensiveness, not being on guard, okay? You pass the test. Congrats. So you are passing tests. Your spiritual team wants you to know that. And they're saying congratulations because many of you, again, are growing. Social media games. If you're playing social media games, your spiritual team wants you to stop. And if you're not playing social media games, they don't want you to engage in that. There's some drama going on on social media here, and they don't want you to be involved. My life is like a movie. Okay, some of you, you know, you may feel like your life is like a movie. It's a lot going on. It's a lot always happening. When you balance your energy, it's not going to feel like that, okay? Because again, it's a lot of growth happening here. Time to receive. Are you ready? Your spiritual team is saying they're ready to give you some new things. Whether this is wisdom, knowledge, material gifts, rewards, whatever, love. All of the above, they're ready to give it to you, but are you ready to receive? And that's a part of that growth too. Feeling like you're worthy of receiving, feeling like you can allow, feeling like you don't have to control how you receive. Toxic positivity behavior. So some of you are focusing too much on the positivity or positive things and you're not fully seeing things for what it really is. Like you, for example, you may be in a relationship and this person does one thing and you're like, yeah, well, they did this and they're moving in this direction, but you're not noticing the other red flags. So really balancing your energy so you can see everything for what it is. Fast changes, fast changes movement. You are safe. So they're coming through saying that you have some fast changes coming in. But you are safe. You are safe through these changes. You are safe through these transformations and these movements. More self-love. Love all of you. So your spiritual team is saying more self-love here. Love all of yourself. Love all of yourself and accept all of yourself. Sweet surprises, you will be shocked. Okay, so they have sweet surprises coming in. They want to surprise you and they're saying you will be shocked. Fear is lying to you. So some of you have you know, fear-based thoughts or anxious thoughts. And your spirit team is saying fear is lying to you. It's not true. Again, some of you want to move on from a partner, but you're afraid to. And that could be some of that fear. However, this resonates for you, but fear is lying to you. If you are saying to yourself, like, you can never be happy again, or you can never have this again, and you can never, that's not true. And master teacher, you're learning a lot. Your spiritual team is really growing you and stretching you. 
really stretching you right now. This is not an easy time, but more self-love, more self-forgiveness, forgiving others and balancing out that energy, balancing out that pride and ego because there's a lot of growth here. Okay, let's get your healing messages. What does your spiritual team need for you to know? Surrender your addictions. Surrender to miracles. Surrender your need to always be right. Surrender to joy. Okay. So again, there's been repeated messages about pride and ego here. And this says, give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Letting go more of the pride and ego, letting go of the need to be right, letting go of this need to prove yourself or to prove that you are right or prove your side or this need to prove. When you put more self-love in the situation, you don't need to prove anything. You know that you are enough. You are good enough. You are enough. Like You don't need to prove anything because you are who you are, okay? So really balancing out, again, the pride and ego, letting that pride and ego down and bringing more of that divinity in, bringing more of that purity in, okay? Bringing more love in. Surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So your spirit team is saying heal the addictions. Okay, whatever addictions that you have, that codependency is coming from, you need to put love there. You need to love yourself more. There's a deficit of love in those places because of whatever has happened to you, the things that you've gone through. So you have to love yourself more and you have to put the love there and you have to tell yourself you're strong enough to overcome anything and you don't need these things to feel love. You don't need these things to feel like you are enough. You don't need these things to feel worthy. Surrender to miracles. Be open open to miracles occurring in your life, feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So again, that fear. Some of you feel like you've been forgotten. Some of you feel like, when is, when is it my time? When are the blessings coming in? Surrender to believing into mir in miracles. Surrender that that fear and those thoughts that miracles are not real, that miracles happen for everyone but you. That's not true. Believe in miracles. Believe in the impossible. And finally, you're ready for joy. Surrender to joy. Many of you, it's been tough, but you're coming to a more happy, joyful, peaceful, harmonious place. Let go and surrender to this. You deserve this. You are worthy of this. You deserve joy. You deserve unconditional love, but it has to happen within you first. And there's fast changes coming in and you are safe. Okay, you are safe. Love yourself. So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Please take care of yourself. I'm proud of you. Keep going. Keep growing. You got this. You're so much stronger than you know. You can overcome anything. You have all the resources, the tools, and the support to be your best version. Heal yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be good to yourself. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Hi, pal three. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I'm sending you so much love. My name is Nicole. Let's get into it. Emotional freedom. So advice from your spiritual team. Your spiritual team is coming through to tell you that you are embarking on a path of emotional freedom. Now, whether you are in a connection or not, it does not matter. You could be in a marriage. You can be in a connection. You could be dating. You could be single. Whatever this is, you are embarking on a path of emotional freedom. And that means you're feeling emotionally free. You're feeling free to be yourself. You're feeling accepted as yourself. You're feeling like you are loving and accepting yourself. You are feeling safe. You're feeling safe with another person or you're feeling safe within or you're feeling safe with both. You're coming into a place of having more harmony, more emotional maturity, more emotional growth, a deeper emotional connection with someone, which is allowing 
more freedom. And that someone could be yourself or it could be yourself and someone else. But you're coming to a place of more harmony and more emotional freedom. And this is going to be uncharted territory for you. This is going to be something you've never experienced here. You've never felt this before. You've never felt this level of freedom emotionally. You've never felt this level of safety emotionally. You know, this is something new. This is something that's growing here. This, you know, this is something beautiful that's happening. It's unfolding for you, okay? Your spiritual team wants you to know that. And it's from the work you are doing on yourself. Let's find out some more. The Tower. Two of Pentacles. The Chariot. Seven of Pentacles. I want to say these same cards may have come out for Pile One. I can't remember right now. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. The Sun. Wow. The Fool. <laughs> this is big energy here. Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. Wow. Nine of Wands. And... Three of Cups. This is really beautiful. Okay. What does your spiritual team need you to know about your love life? Their advice. Um, you're coming into a happier time. Many of you, if you, even if you have already, for some of you, I feel like you're already in a connection where you're married and things have been going well, but things are getting ready to even go to another level. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is going to be uncharted territory. This is something you've never experienced before. Whether you're single, dating, if you are single, you're getting ready to connect with someone that's going to be like a divine counterpart, okay? Or even if you're dating, even if you know you're not in a relationship, you're meeting someone new. If And this person is going to feel like a divine counterpart. This person is going to feel like someone that you can spend your life with or someone you can share your life with. If you're in a relationship, your spiritual team needs for you to know that this person, you and this person are going to the next level. You're going to the next level of, <clears throat> excuse me, emotional freedom, emotional safety, growth, okay? And this growth is going to reflect in the physical realm. It's going to reflect emotionally, but it's also going to refre reflect, excuse me, let me slow it down, Mercury retrograde. This is going to reflect spiritually, emotionally, and physically, meaning in the material world, okay? Gaining more abundance materially. Many of you are coming into a connection, meeting someone new, or the next level in your connection is going to be about abundance. Abundance emotionally, spiritually, materially, okay? And this is going to be some shocking changes coming in, fast changes. Many of you is fast moving changes. For some of you, again, you may already be in a marriage or a connection and there's something that's going to happen that's just going to bring you and this person closer. You know, it's going to be different for everyone here, but it's something big that's going to happen that's going to provide more stability, more happiness, more joy, more balance, more harmony to the connection. If you are single, you're going to meet someone, whether single or dating, you're going to be meeting someone new and it's going to happen very, like in a happenstance way, very serendipitous, very random. It's like, you know, you would have never have seen that coming. And people are going to ask you later, how did you meet this person? And you're going to tell people how it happened. And people are just going to be so shocked at this story. Some of you are going to be meeting someone that you're meant to, like, you and this person are meant to be on a platform together. Or you're meant to share your love story. Or people are meant to know about this, okay? That's not for everyone, but this is for someone. Some, some of you may already be on a platform. And you're going to be telling other people, like, how you and this person overcame things. Because some of you... Your spiritual team is saying to you, and that's why the sun is kind of here, like crowning the reading for me, or like in the middle of this, like, <clears throat> excuse me, your spiritual team is like, your relationship is meant to be an example for others. And example meaning, 
This doesn't mean you can't have a private life. It doesn't mean that everything needs to be on display about your relationship. Not at all. But some of you are going to be sharing things about your relationship to give inspiration and hope to others. Okay? Whether this is through a podcast, whether this is through a book, whether this is through a YouTube channel, social media, it could even just be posting pictures that's inspirational to the type of love story that you have. Something here is a public energy because you and this person are shining. Okay, this is meant to be some type of example or some type of aspirational situation or inspirational. Okay, and this is why. Your spiritual team needs for you to know you and this person, whether you're meeting this person or this is someone you've been with, you're being elevated for this reason, okay? You're being elevated because you're meant to talk about, you know, or show something within your relationship or talk about things in your relationship. Some of you, again, your spiritual team is like your platform is rising because you're meant to be sharing things about your relationship. OK, like some of you may be on a TV show, a movie or documentary or something or a podcast, something public here. And it's meant to show people that this is real. It's meant to show people that like, hey, you could be married and divorced and love again or you can deal with situations. You could deal with trauma. You could deal with abuse and love again. Like you can overcome obstacles and love again. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on um, loving yourself, healing yourself, like doing the work, love yourself, heal yourself, focus on you. And then it comes something like that. And it's like your spiritual team is saying that like when they tell you to, and you and your person to take a picture or to do this podcast or to make this video or whatever it is, don't shun away from it. Don't doubt it. Follow it. Because it's meant to be. And this is how you and this person receive more freedom and more abundance. Because you and this person are meant to show people emotional freedom. Like, this is deep. This is really deep. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like, I'm not even looking at the cards right now. I'm just straight up channeling. I just have to say that. I'm straight up channeling. Like, this is deep. Whatever this is, this is why the lovers came out. And look, I put that. That wasn't even supposed to be the first card. But I put that as the first card. Like... This is a deep connection, divine love connection. Like this is divine love. This is like the love that people need to see, the, the love that people need to hear about. And again, that doesn't mean that everything is cupcakes and rainbows every day. No, you know, you will be, you may talk about obstacles. You may talk about challenges. You may talk about, you know, issues. You know, again, it doesn't mean that you can't have a private life because some of you, I feel like you're hearing this and you're like, well, what about my privacy? And it's like, of course, you're going to do it the way your spiritual team knows you. Your spiritual team is like trust. Your spiritual team is like trust. And we got you. Like, we're not saying everything about your relationship is going to be on display. That's not the case at all. But they're saying that some things when they tell you to share some things, they're telling you that because you're meant to be an inspiration and you're meant to help people and you're meant to show people that it's real and, you know, that you can celebrate. You can celebrate after the storm, that the rainbows come out. Some of you, it could be about miscarriages. It's, it's just different things here, okay? But your spiritual team is like, you will receive more freedom, more love, and more abundance when you follow and you're obedient. So they tell you to, you know, be on this podcast talking about your relationship, be open and honest, like follow it and trust it. OK, let's get some more out. This is really beautiful. Ecstasy. Freedom. Wow. Freedom now twice. Wow. Look at this. Attraction. Yeah, see, this is wow. This is beautiful. Sweet song, divine union. I can't, I swear I don't see these cards. I can't make this up. Higher self, warm embrace. Now let me say this: there's literally no negative cards here, and this deck has cards where it's like interferes and control issues, or you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. Like it has cards where it's like okay, everything is not favorable, but this is so beautiful, like. This connection, and again, some of you have not met this person yet. 
<laughs> some listen some of you have not met this person yet and you're being guided like you and this person are being guided to each other and if you are with this person you and this person were guided to each other for a reason and it's because this is a divine union but some of you have not met this person yet and you're getting ready to meet this person and it may even feel like love at first sight it may feel like this like the stars are going to align that's how it's going to be very serendipitous it's going to be very much like when you tell the story people will not believe it they're going to think you and this person made it up even if it is through a dating app okay because some of you like it could be through a dating app or something like that and it's like People are going to feel like, no way. Really? That's how that happened? Well, let's get back into this. Freedom. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to be freely, able to freely love. This is what I'm saying. This, whether you're in this relationship or not, this relationship is taking you to new levels of freedom. New levels of freedom emotionally, physically, materially. Some of you, it's like, you know, you and this person are already like abundant in the material realm, you're going to higher heights because you're going to feel free emotionally. And when you're free on that level, you're going to be free materially as well. And so you may be working with this person again, have a business with this person or working with this person to show your relationship. It's going to have a deep attraction. You and this person are going to grow together. You're going to continue to be very attracted to each other. With this divine union, if you're not married to this person, this person is going to want to marry you, okay? For some of you, this may be a quick situation. When you meet this person, they may quickly want to marry you after. Now, your spiritual team is saying don't rush anything, okay? You don't need to rush. There's no need to rush. But for some of you, like, this person is going to know you are the one, okay? Like, they're going to know. Like, they're not, they're just going to feel it. They're going to feel it, and you will feel it too, but your spiritual team is saying you don't need to rush anything, but some of you, you will be getting engaged to this person. Or if you're already married, it's going to be a deepening of the union. And it's, it is a divine union, okay? Your spiritual team wants you to enjoy this, wants you to celebrate, wants you to enjoy every part of your person. Your spiritual team wants you to be affectionate with your person. Your spiritual team wants you to travel with your person, to live to enjoy this freedom because this is something your soul has never experienced. And for many of you, this is something that like, not only has your soul hasn't experienced this, but it's like your family, your friends, they've never seen this type of love. That's why this love is meant to be very inspirational. It's meant to be an inspiration to people to show people that it's real, that people can really have that, that people can go through situations and come after the storm, it's beautiful. Things are beautiful. Things are, you know, blossoming. They're growing. You could be affectionate without it being fake. You can actually enjoy this person, genuinely love this person, genuinely love being with this person, okay? For some of you, <coughs> excuse me, it may have been like being with this person, you may have had to really kind of like build like the attraction needed to build over time or, you know, you became more into this person over time. Like at first you were into this person, but it wasn't as strong as it is now. Like there's just a deepening happening here. Like things are going deeper, however that looks for you. And your higher self and your spiritual team is guiding this. No matter how dark or muddy your path may be, trust the guidance of your higher self. And your higher self is like, continue to love yourself. Continue to value yourself. Continue to put yourself like knowing your worth, okay? Because this is how you're attracting higher vibrational situations. Your spirit team is like dance with your person, enjoy life, enjoy food, enjoy travel, enjoy music, enjoy dancing, cuddling, embracing, enjoy making love. Like this is a very transformative connection where you and this person transform through sex. Sexual healing is very important here as well. And so there's just this deepening that's happening here and it's really beautiful. And this is why it's gonna be so aspirational, okay? Now let's find out what does your spiritual team want you to embrace more of moving forward in your love life? Okay, love. The distorted feminine. Okay, we're gonna to get to this. Luminosity. 
and be parenting yourself. Okay, so your spiritual team wants you to remember self-love always, okay? The more you love yourself, the more you love yourself, the more you are kind to yourself, nurturing yourself, you know, taking time for self-care, the more you shine and the more abundance comes to you and your person. This connection has a lot of light because it's a higher vibrational, it's a divine union here, okay? Where's that card? It's a divine union. It shines a lot of light. This is why this connection is meant for people to know about it. It's meant to be on that platform, okay? Because it shines so much light and people need to see this. This is the type of connection that makes people believe in love, makes people believe that anything can happen, makes people believe in miracles. But again, self-love first, loving yourself, being in love with yourself, taking care of yourself. Because many of you, again, you're still being... You're still going to have to reparent yourself. You're still going to have to nurture yourself. You're still going to have to take care of yourself and be good to yourself and be kind to yourself. And when you do these things, you shine even more and you are even more abundant and you thrive even more. And this is abundant in all areas, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, okay? Abundance in all areas. With this distorted feminine energy, we all have masculine and feminine energy within. So continue to heal that distorted feminine energy. And this could come from, you know, childhood or past relationships. Continue to heal the energy of the need to want to like control or manipulate or using, you know, sex or your body to manipulate or distort things or seduce, things like that. <clears throat> okay. Or like, you know, needy behavior you know, anxiously attached behavior, things like that. The more you love and reparent yourself, okay, these energies, they melt away. They go away because it's just, it's not even a factor anymore because you're loving and you're reparenting yourself and you're taking care of yourself and you're shining at a high level. And many of you are very connected with your higher self. So your higher self is helping you. And this is what makes you more attractive. You really do beam with a lot of light and you're really moving up to higher frequencies and you and your person are growing together. And that's the beautiful part. And that's why you and your person are really shining together and looking good together, okay? Now let's get some final messages. Let's get a couple of more messages before we get to the final ones, okay? What does your spiritual team need for you to know? Okay, let's get a couple more out, pile three. Pile three, what does your spiritual team need you to know? What's your love life? All right, let's get a couple more from here. Pile three, okay. Okay. Stop ignoring red flags. So again, this came up. I mean, um, did I talk about this in this pile? No. Okay. So what I'm getting here is again, that distorted feminine energy. Okay. Don't ignore those red flags. If you feel the need to control or manipulate, or you feel like you're being controlled or manipulated, things like that, just pay attention to the red flags. Again, that does not mean that this person is not the one for you. It just could be something that needs to be worked out or discussed or talked about. So they just want you to flow with the energy, okay? But pay attention to what is going on in a situation. Just be very aware Right now, you're attractive. You're very attractive. Keep the vibes high, okay? So continue to keep your vibration high. Keep the frequency up because you are very attractive. And you're attracting a lot of beautiful situations, okay? Kill them with kindness. Smile more. So right now, you're being asked if you have people. Some of you may be on a public platform, but if you have people who are like hating on you or things like that or sending things your way, kill them with kindness. Smile more. Be happy because you deserve this. And this is what you're coming into. But this unblock me, please. This is to let you know you're going to have people from your past that want your time, that want to come back, that want to be around you. And so, you know, again, 
don't ignore the red flags, okay? This is not to say you can't have those people in your life. That's your choice. Your spiritual team wants you to know that's your choice. But be aware of the red flags, okay? Signs and synchronicities or signs and saints and animal spirit guides. So again, they're saying pay attention and ground yourself. Ground your energy, be present, be focused, pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. You have animal spirit guides working with you, okay? And they want you to flow with the energy. The animal spirit guides I'm getting, getting a giraffe, gorilla, elephant, eagle, owl, dog, cat, and a puma, okay? learn something new. So they want you to continue to grow. Okay. And this is how you create more of that freedom. Take the next step and we will do the rest. So again, they want you to take the next step, whatever that is. It could be to learn something new, to do something new, but continue to take those actions. Okay. I don't know who to trust. They want you to know that this new person, or if you're in a connection, you can trust this person. It's safe with this person. Okay, this is a new person coming in or you're already with this person and things are deepening that you can trust this person. Okay, what are you afraid of? We got you. They want you to know that you don't need to be afraid of anything. Some of you may be feeling like you're afraid to love again or you're afraid of being hurt again. They want you to know that that's not the case and you have their support that you've been doing the work, you are coming into a different level of freedom, a different vibration, okay? And it's not what it used to be. Addictions are killing the vibe, yuck. So again, if there's any addiction issues, this is about healing that, okay? Healing that and not letting that lower the vibe. That's not for everyone, but again, that could be some type of red flag, okay? So just pay attention to that. Lessons, take notes. So they're saying you're learning a lot of lessons, take the notes. Take notes. You're ready to be seen. So it's a peacock uh, animal spirit guide too. So again, this is also saying again, this is saying this is this relationship. This relationship is going to be seen. Okay. It's going to be seen in the public to some type of capacity. And this is what your spiritual team wants for you to know. And they don't want you to be afraid of this. There's nothing to fear when it comes to that balance the scales. So the scales are being balanced for you. And this is why you're being gifted with a divine union or a deeper union with the person that you have because the karmic scales are being balanced. We have Scorpio energy. So this is with that intimacy, this is growing intimacy, okay? The level of intimacy is growing within this connection or it will be in this new connection. But with that mystery here, this is, again, you don't see this coming. You don't see this coming. You don't see this happening, okay? Freedom is yours. Claim it. Wow, freedom has come up, like, literally every single time. So freedom is, okay, so freedom is a big thing here. And, again, freedom mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, okay? Physical, financial freedom, material freedom, emotional freedom spiritual freedom, mental freedom, like freedom on all levels. And that's what you're unlocking within this connection with this person, whether this is new or already a current connection. And it's going to be really beautiful, okay? So there's nothing to fear. You have a lot of support. You are protected. Your union is protected and loved. You don't see this coming. The changes you don't see coming, but it's happening, okay? All right, let's get your final messages out. Surrender to spirit, surrender to success, surrender to passion, and surrender to your belief in scarcity. Okay, so with your belief in, in scarcity, the universe is asking you to, sorry, okay, okay. The universe is asking you to open the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So again, there's two messages here of success. It is about removing those energetic blocks, removing the mental blocks, removing the blocks of blocking your abundance. You, 
your spiritual team wants you to know that you are very supported, that you are provided for. The scarcity is not real. That's a part of fear, okay? You are provided for, even if it doesn't seem like you are not. This universe is infinite. There's infinite abundance here. You can have sex success beyond your wildest dreams, okay? And you're ready to open the door to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So success and abundance is big for this pile. And your spiritual team is saying you are ready, but do you believe you are ready? Are you still letting fear or self-limiting beliefs or things that have happened in the past hold you back. It's time to leap into new possibilities, a new world. Again, freedom. We kept seeing freedom here. It's time for you to have that emotional freedom, material freedom, physical freedom, spiritual freedom, mental freedom. It's time for freedom on all levels. So it's time to let go of scarcity, feeling like you'll not, you won't have enough or there isn't enough or you can't succeed or you can't have success. Removing those energetic blocks because those are energetic and mental blocks, okay? Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So you're being asked to surrender to passion. What are you passionate about? Flow into that energy of passion. Flow into that fire. What activities, what people get you ignited, get you excited, get you to feeling passionate? Okay, it's time to really embrace more passionate energy, passion, doing things that create that passion, because that's what you're here to do. Again, you're here to celebrate. You're here to have fun. You're here to have a good time and experience that freedom. Finally, surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So you're just being asked to let go. Just surrender. Focus on passion. Focus on success, focus on a new step forward, new opportunities, and letting go of the roadblocks, letting go of what happened in the past, letting go of energetic blocks, mental blocks, letting go of feeling like there isn't enough, feeling like you won't have freedom, feeling like, you know, miracles don't exist, letting everything go and just let things flow flow with the energy and just see where this flow is going because many of you are going to be shocked, okay? And there's some surprises and blessings that are coming in that you don't see coming. But the, when you let go and just let the magic work, then that's when it comes. So just continue to surrender. When you want to overthink, say, no, I'm letting go. I'm surrendering. When you feel anxious or you feel like there isn't enough or you won't have enough or you won't have freedom, Say, no, I'm releasing and I'm letting go. Positively affirm yourself and focus on things that you're passionate about, people and activities, and just flow with this energy, okay? So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. I'm proud of you. Keep showing up for yourself. Keep loving yourself. Keep healing. Keep being an inspiration. Keep forgiving yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, okay? Keep your vibes high. You're very attractive right now. Your energy is very magnetic, very luminous. Keep those vibes up. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.